Hi, this is Matt at Custom Car Grills with a mesh install video for the 2013 through 14 Cadillac ATS fog lights. For this video, the factory fog light pieces have already been removed from the bumper, and I've got my Dremel equipped with a spiral saw bit. With the initial cuts, I'm staying about a quarter to a half inch away from the edge. The spiral saw bit can sometimes get a little erratic, so it's best to account for some room for error. A couple times I had to readjust the angle of approach, but with a little bit of patience and determination I got the job done. Once the cutting path start and stop points meet, the center portion should drop right out, like so. Next I'll equip my Dremel with the number 543 cutting and shaping wheel. With the center portion cut out, I can now get a good angle to cut the remaining plastic mesh out. I want to get the cutting wheel in there like this, so that the back of it will be a nice and consistent flat edge. Again, once the cutting path start and stop points meet, the cut portion should drop right out. There's going to be a few large burnt plastic bits that can be picked off by hand. Then, I'll flip this around so I can work on the back of it. The top of the shaping wheel is abrasive and makes short work of evening out this cut edge. I'm not cutting deep in with this motion, I'm just evening out everything where it's needed. Next, I'll grab a sharp knife and trim off any remaining plastic bits. Typically, just a quick pass around is all that's needed. Lastly, I'll give the back edge a quick sanding and then we'll be all set with the cutting portion of this mod. Now, let's take a look at the mesh piece we have for sale on our website. It's pre-cut and pre-bent just for this mod, and it's important to note to not cut the factory grill pieces too shallow or else this mesh piece might not fit properly. With all the correct cuts made, the mesh piece will drop right on the back, like so. From there, I need to temporarily hold the mesh in place and some cable ties and foam are great for getting that job done. It's just as easy as looping the tie around the grill and through the mesh and then fastening them together. There doesn't need to be a ton of ties added, but there should be enough here to keep the mesh fairly flat to the back of the grill. Once all the ties are in place, the tail ends can be trimmed off and thrown away. For adhesives, I like using either automotive goop or plyo grip. For this install, I chose plyo grip because I had some left over from doing the top and bottom center grill sections. This dispenses on very easily, but this is a small piece with some tight spots, so there is some attention to detail that's needed here. Once I've got some in place, I'll use a little brush to spread it around some to ensure full even coverage. On the outer edge area, it's a real tight spot, and it's challenging to get some of the adhesive in there. This is where a small brush can really come in handy. After this is all cured, the ties can be cut off and thrown away, and now we're done with the mesh install. Let's flip it around and see how it turned out. Hey, this looks really nice. The mesh is virtually seamless looking against the back of the grill opening. Overall, this is a great add-on for any ATS owner that already has our top and bottom grill pieces installed. Here's a picture of all four pieces installed. This really transformed the front end and modernizes it quite a bit. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions about this product, then feel free to contact us. And thanks for watching.